I have never read an article with as much practical life advice as this one by Patrick Collison. For those of you unfamiliar with Patrick Collison, he's the co-founder and CEO of the digital payments company Stripe. America's most valuable private tech startup. Most valued startup in Silicon Valley. In 2021, it was valued at over $95 billion. Half of all Americans who bought something online in the last year did so via Stripe. Needless to say, Patrick is a pretty smart guy. And when he has advice to give, generally, it's a pretty good idea to listen. Now, this advice was originally intended for people in between the ages of 10 to 20 years old. I'm too old for this. Now, you might be older than that, but it doesn't mean that you can't apply the same rules he learned at that age to wherever you are now. This is the exact advice he would give to his younger self if he wanted to know how to change the world. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's fast becoming one of America's most important e-commerce players. He starts off by saying that ages 10 to 20 are the prime years and that you should go deep on subjects and become an expert. In particular, it's worth it to try to go deep on multiple things. One of the main things that you should try to achieve by age 20 is some kind of sense for the work and things that you enjoy doing. He says that this probably won't change a lot throughout your life, so you should try to discover the shape of that space as quickly as you can. Don't stress about how valuable the things are that you're trying to learn, but don't ignore it either. It should be a factor you weigh, but not the only thing that you consider. To the extent you enjoy working hard, make sure you do it. To that constraint, it's not clear if the returns you get on that effort ever diminish substantially. If you enjoy what you do, be grateful and take full advantage. Make friends over the internet with people who are great at the things that you're interested in. Let's see if I got any new comments. Oh man. The internet is one of the biggest advantages you have over prior generations, so learn how to use it. This one's gonna sound simple, but aim to read a lot. If you don't like reading, listen to audiobooks. If you think that something's important, but people older than you don't, there's a good chance that you're right and they're wrong. Status lags by a generation or more. Above all else, don't make the mistake of judging your success based on your current peer group. This is getting way more like Breakfast Club now. Make friends, but remember, being weird as a teenager is generally a good thing. That being said, having good social skills gives you lifelong benefits. Get good at making a first impression. You only get one chance at a first impression. I suggest Julia Child because it's easy to do. Save the jablets! Being funny, if you can, and speaking publicly. Just make things. Operating in a space with a lot of uncertainty is different than trying to learn something. More broadly, nobody is going to teach you to think for yourself. A large fraction of what people around you believe is mistaken. Internalize this and practice coming up with your own worldview. The correlation between yours and those around you shouldn't be strong unless you think that you were lucky in your starting conditions. If you're in the US and you go to a good school, there's gonna be a lot of forces that push you to following train tracks laid by others rather than charting a course yourself. Make sure the things that you're pursuing are weird things that you want to pursue, not whatever the standard path is. One way of thinking about this is asking yourself this question. Do your friends at school think your path is a bit strange? If not, maybe it's too normal. Figure out a way to travel to San Francisco and meet people who have moved there to pursue their dreams. Why San Francisco? San Francisco is the center for high openness, smart, energetic, and optimistic people. In other words, global weird HQ. Because you're human, and, and I was human. I am human, still. But of um, course, take advantage of opportunities to travel to other places too. Find vivid examples of success in the domains that you care about. If you want to become a great scientist, find ways of spending time with great scientists in person. Watch YouTube videos of interviews. Why should I not be excited about fighting a robot? <laughs> And be sure to follow some on Twitter. People who did great things often do them at surprisingly young ages. They had gray hair when they were famous, not when they did the work. So hurry up and do great things. He goes on to say that for people in between the ages of 20 to 30, he doesn't know what advice he would give yet. He plans to think about that when he's 35 to 40. Right now he's 33 and he turns 34 in September. So maybe in one year we'll have more to add to this list. But you know, we've, we've quite a ways left to go. When you start to look at the lists and advice from other successful people, you'll start to notice that there's a lot of similarities. It's important not just to take Patrick's advice or my advice blindly. You need to be able to think if it makes sense and challenge it if you need to. When you're a little older, you can see the clear benefits and truth in what he's saying. I found myself agreeing with him for a lot of his points. It's also important to remember though, that if you're older than 20 and you're just seeing this for the first time, it's okay. It's been 84 years. Colonel Sanders famously started Kentucky Fried Chicken at the age of 65. Alan Rickman got his big acting break at the age of 42 in the movie Die Hard. This is simply the beginning. Stan Lee created his first hit comic, just shy of his 39th birthday. I'm Stan Lee. I've been writing stories for the young generation for the past 30 years. The truth is, it doesn't matter when you hear this advice, as long as you start applying it now. The only thing he doesn't mention, which I think is important, is the element of fear in pursuing what you want. A lot of people are scared of what others may think of their dreams or what they wanna work on. At the end of the day, the thing that matters the most is your opinion of yourself. You will never regret making yourself proud 
and having the courage to do what you think is right. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on what your favorite part was. The vision for this channel is to build it into a learning platform that can be an alternative to higher education. In theory, it would be all the things they don't teach you in school, but they should. These videos include the things that I think will be the most relevant and important to learn about for navigating life in the modern era. I'm also learning a part of this journey just as much as anyone else, so let's enjoy the ride together. Thank you for taking the time to watch this all the way through. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.